rock out with your boys, Cass and Dom. Obviously not here right now, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? We're going to do something a little bit different today, guys. We're going to be talking about upcoming changes and how much uh, Caleb has progressed with Bleach Brave Souls over the last um, a couple of months. Because massive changes have happened, all right? So, guys, sit back chill out let's talk about it and then you guys can leave your feedback in the comment section below so let's kick it off with the first thing which i think is one of the biggest things that's about to happen bleak brace souls i am all for this we all of us been wanting this this is being being straight up re-rolling i mean rolling re-rolling items and everything else has been so hard because you're always afraid especially when you've got chappies you may just roll sp and sp is not something that can be used for chappies because you get chappies make your sp go to zero it includes um, uh, Papples and um, Yuki. They, in order to use their traits, focus goes to zero. So how about they diminish and get rid of those um, second traits that we can't use. And guys, that's a massive thing, all right? Even if you're new at this game and you guys don't understand what's happening, is for a long time now, since we're playing Bleach Brave Souls, when you take your items from four to five stars, you get a second trait. The first trait stays as the same. Second trait changes. So, for example, um, if you've got a chappy, uh, for example, with a five star chappy, you can't have SP on there because chappy makes your SP go to zero. SP is mainly used for strong attacks and used for specials. So they become null and void, but it gives you a five star chappy. I'm not talking about the golden chappy right now. Five star chappy gives you 30% all stats. And the second trait that you would get on it could be attack, could be stamina, whatever, and it's good. But when you roll, when you roll SP, it honestly it kills you inside. It honestly it does. It destroys you. You're thinking, oh my god, I just, and most of the time you roll max SP on a chappy. You don't roll six percent. It's like you roll thirty percent SP. Why can't I roll that on a tension tie or a Yuki? And for example, the Yuki um, that gives you. But basic, it gives you a 5 star, 20% SP, and 20% stamina. And when you get a second trait on there, hopefully it's SP. That's what really people go for. And you can get, if you can get 30% SP extra, that's 50% SP you're rocking with 20% stamina. That's awesome. Amazing. But if you roll focus, focus is something it makes it go to zero. So you can the pop will make your focus go zero. So why would you want focus? Focus is crit. But when you've got a high amount of SP, when you've got like 100% SP on one of your SP, I mean like high SP characters, you don't really need crit. I'm telling you right now, you don't need crit. But if you're lower SP, crit is kind of important. But yeah, um, getting rid of those those traits on those items that you don't really need is a good, good thing. Again, I'm, I'm all for that. I know you guys are. And you must be happy about that. That's one of the things I'm definitely happy about. Another thing is what you guys see on the screen is also is skipping move animations all right i just threw that in there just for the fun of it reason being is because man people need to skip the the, the special animation and they're getting rid of the on and off button for the specials so you don't have to see the animation you go ahead and just boom skip it you don't have to turn it off no more in option screen they're taking that out i'm glad i'm happy about that next bit of news we're going to talk about is the gift box because uh, when they announced that they're going to be sorting out the gift box update, um, you're going to be able to select certain things. If you if you got like uh, if you're like Dom, or there's a lot of players out there that save the gifts, they don't want to collect them, and they leave it in a gift box, and it and it just builds up like 20, 25, it's a 30 different pages of gifts. Um, I really thought that you're gonna you can you can collect, uh, you can be able to collect your orbs from there if you left orbs in there, like separately there'd be a tab you can collect orbs or you can collect um. The premium summon tickets, accessory tickets, things like that. But reading what they've said, again, this is all planned um, for the near future coming up. So we plan to add a characters tab to the gift box. We will also add an extra confirmation pop up, which is always important. Sometimes when you collect your tickets by accident, you're saying your soul tickets, you go ahead and press it by accident uh, because you're just trying to press close and you collect all them back. Now there's going to be an extra pop up tab saying, Are you sure you want to collect your tickets? lifesaver because so many people have collected them all at once bad idea because you don't want to be playing i don't know three four hundred tickets you want to use your five and then let it generate itself because you've got things to do you don't want to collect all of them and have them sitting there and you guys can't even use them so good idea on that one all right uh pop up characters tab to allow players to cancel the actions to be accidentally tapped collect all gifts on this page button so um 
I'm hoping, I'm hoping, guys, there, there's gonna be extra tabs. They're gonna be putting that in the near future where you can just collect indiv individual stuff because nobody wants to go through the whole 20, 20, 25 pages just looking for certain things, all right? Especially accessory tickets, premium summer tickets, and things like that. You don't want to be looking for them. You just want to make sure you have it right there. You can just press the button and collect all of them at once. It'd make life a lot easier. Even with crystals and jewels, for example, there's some crystals and jewels, but now they've actually made that slot almost, um, uh, like, like you can have as many jewels of crystals as you want now. I think it's nine hundred ninety nine hundred thousand million. I don't know how much it is. I think it's close to a million now. So that won't be an issue. But with tickets and things like that, I think you should be able to collect them individually. Or you know what? Hopefully the tabs get sorted. Touching on that, um, the new skill key item. We've talked about this before. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we were talking about it. there's going to be a new skill item you can unlock character. But here's the thing: they've been giving us this intensive course which has been giving us raid characters for near enough nothing. It's so easy to run through. You get through it in about 20 seconds. You don't need maxed out characters. You don't need crazy characters to do it. It's like a boss rush, but f like easy mode. When I say easy, I mean like so easy. You don't have to do nothing. You can just let your friend. It's a six star cat. You know what? If you've got a friend with a six star, um, and then let your friend just run through it. You can just stand there and do nothing. That's how easy this boss rush really is, okay? Um, it's an easy way to get it. Intensive course is an amazing way to get raid characters. But here's the thing. Uh, I understand this skill key is a new item that allows you to unlock a, uh, a six-star character skill so without needing the relevant raid drop characters. Or are they bringing this out so that we don't have to wait for a specific raid? I, I know the anniversary is about to be over and this intensive course will probably go away. Right, it's, it's probably going to go away. I think this is why they're implementing this, where you're going to be able to get this. Is this? See, here's the thing. I'm hoping, and we can always um, speculate how they're going to be doing this. Is this going to be for the veteran players, those hardcore players that are going to be playing a uh, hardcore mode to get um, this specific skill key? Let's call, it, let's call it a skill key. So that's what it's called. Um, is it, so is it for the hardcore players that's going to be playing like extremely hard mode? Like for example, you're playing like level 200 bosses or level 200 enemies. If it is, I think that'd be a good way to go about it. I don't, I don't think it should be an easy way to acquire this item. I think it should be like level 200 enemies and you're going to have to go ahead and defeat them. And get through. It's like a it's like a nightmare mode. Let's make a nightmare mode level two hundred. Make it really hard to get these. Make it challenging. Uh, maybe not set it up every day, but maybe like once a week, a specific day. Or for example, uh, why not put it on a Sunday? For example, for us, PVP goes down. I'm just giving you like, just just just, just, just spitball. Now PVP goes down at four p.m. UK time. And I don't know where else everywhere else in the world. Wherever you guys are, check the time. Um, but. For about, what is it now, six hours after that, we ain't got nothing to do. How about you give us this? I'm just saying, it could be any time of the week. I'm just giving you an example. PP goes down, we ain't got nothing to do for six hours. How about you say, okay, the skill key uh, raid is on. It's extreme, extremely hard. It's like nightmare on top of nightmare mode. It's like level 200. You're going to have to defeat it in order to get a skill key. That would be really good because they've got six hours to burn to do nothing. You know what I mean? We, yeah, we can do points events and things like that, farm events and things like that, but why not just put this there? That would be a good idea, I think, personally. Skill key, I'm really looking forward to it. I want to know how it is that we can acquire this. Hopefully, it's not just going to be a weekly order thing. I'm hoping that it's going to be a lot harder than that. Co-ops are also about to change, ladies and gentlemen. Co-op quest room rules are added. So there's going to be, so if you're hosting a room, now you're going to be able to specifically choose what seat of or players you want playing with you in co-ops good or bad I don't know that's gonna be up to you guys to decide let's take a quick read for this we plan to add an extra co-op room entry filter to allow you to, spe to um, specify brave battle league status as an entry requirement for guests where you guys stand on this I a lot of people are gonna say oh we don't want noobs or we don't want people starting the game now you know, we don't want to join the room because they don't have the good accessories. Yeah, they've got the choose your six star character, for example, the new people that I just started, but they ain't got an accessory. We don't want them joining, so we want at least C3 or higher. Or we want, you know, only um, uh, uh, lieutenants or head captains or captains. I mean, to me personally, I'm still probably going to leave it open as it is. I don't think this is going to make much of a difference to me because I like playing corps. Um, character nowadays with level 200 character is easy enough anyway raids especially especially are easy enough maybe not for um 
things like um, the extreme corpse you know then you might want to decide that you know what you do use this filter right here and you put like head captains or captains higher lieutenants and higher um, if you guys decide to do that um, but really it's it's a good change for a lot of people because a lot of people are like I don't want to be playing with no one loading that because they don't have good accessories I look I've got my I've got my one of my accounts in like C5 or C4 um, but I've got great accessories and great characters but I don't get enough time to play PvP to bring them back up again because I'm always focused on my main account, my global account. I don't really focus that much on others, so it's you know it's a toss up. I don't know. I don't know where I stand on that. Now, soul tickets. The recharge or soul tickets. You guys know that's about to change. This is a big. These are massive changes to the game, guys. If you think about it, we plan to increase the maximum number of soul tickets. Increase the maximum number. So maximum number before was five. And the soul tickets recharge over time. So there's going to be a lot more soul tickets now, guys. A lot more soul tickets that are going to be coming in. And when you come back, will that mean you're going to have 10 or 15? Does that mean you're going to have 20? Is there going to be a cap on how many soul tickets you have? If you don't play the game, does it mean it still recharges? Or does it only recharge while you're playing the game? Right? That, see, these are questions that we need to ask, but we don't really know. And they're saying now you're going to be able to use multiple soul tickets for certain quests this should allow players to make more effective use of their playtime so uh what they're saying is we've talked about this also before is like running a specific let's say you run a raid a four star raid with your strong characters and you maybe have to use five at one time and i think what your character does is it runs a raid and it gives you whatever rewards you get it times that by five so instead of you running it five separate times one after the other you can just press it once and you get the same Stuff. If you if you die, does that mean you lose all five tickets? That's a good question, right? It's, a sim it's basically simulation. I mean, it's playing for you. So it either gives you five times the reward or it gives you death. Reward or death. So <laughs> I don't know. I, can, I, like, I like altering raids, especially on my JP account with Grimjow. You can know enough. You know what I mean? Put damage reduction on him. Uh, just like frenzy. He's got frenzy anyway. Strong attack. Whatever you guys are going to do. But I like running it auto that way. Would I do that? Yes, I would. I would I would go ahead and use five tickets at once. But I don't know how the reward system works. Does it randomly just play at once and give you random five rewards? Or does it just give you that same reward? Uh, more information will come of this. But soul tickets, um, we're going to get more now so we can play the game even more. Lastly, we're going to talk about this right here. As you guys know, in the anniversary live stream, they did announce they're going to be tagged. See, okay, hold up. They announced there's going to be upcoming tag team characters coming up. They announced this, okay? This wasn't a surprise. Like, hey, here you go. Here's your tag team character. No, they said these are the characters that are coming your way. But, but why? Why announce it? Because is there something special about these characters that's going to be different from everybody else? Well, let's, let's go for the character. You got Retsu. Um, you got Jushiro, remember all the tag team. You got um, uh, Cho Chojiro, Chojiro, yeah. Uh, you got Koga, and you got Renji. All of them have their own tag team. They've got their um, Zanpak toes. But what are we expecting from this? These tag teams? Are we expecting better soul traits? Are we expecting double soul traits? Are we expecting better stats? What are we expecting from these tag teams right now? I don't know. What do you guys expect? Are you guys expecting um, these characters and these um, tag teams to have frenzies or um, or flurries or double soldier? What are you guys expecting from them? Because why would they have announced it so early? I mean, did you, they announced it so early that we don't, these characters could actually be OP. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm going to say they like like Dom was saying before that, that these characters could have double soul traits. I don't know because oh, right now only the the free frenzy characters usually have double soul traits. Could these characters be having double soul traits? I don't know. It leaves us a lot of questions. Yeah, on top of that, you guys know the manga characters are also coming up, which is trying to get ready before the end of the year, which would be really really nice. But you guys, what are we expecting from all this? Are we expecting good stats? Are we expecting even better stats now with the characters coming up? I mean, take away the Halle Bell that just happened on JP. Other than the Halle Bell, you can build as hybrid and anything else. The, the Stark is really good. SEO and Kiora come back. People say he's just like the anniversary Ichigo. I don't know. Where do you guys stand on that? Is he anniversary Ichigo? Is he new SEO and Kiora? Is he anniversary? Because he's got similar attacks. He's got similar normal attack damage. I don't know. Head to head, who wins? I really don't know. 
actually have both characters on the same account. So I may just do a video for you guys just to see who is better. But guys, that's it for now. Uh, there are all the changes happening with uh, my Bleach Brave Souls. Let me know what you guys think of it because what you guys think is the most important thing. How do you guys feel about all the changes? What are you looking forward to the most? And uh, what other changes could the game make to make this game even better? Again, comment section below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to go and show your support by just smashing that like button, sharing this video with your friends and family, subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Because that's your boy Dom. He's obviously not here right now. This is your boy Cass. We're out. This is your boy Cass. We're out. Out.